Sports Illustrated has nominated Angel Reese of the Chicago Sky, the rookie sensation, the Chi-Town Barbie, as one of the 50 most influential sports figures in the world. Now, it seems to have a lot of backlash coming with it. But before we get off into today's podcast, tell a friend to tell a friend. Well, the Chi-Town Barbie, Angel Reese, will grace the cover of Sports Illustrated in the October's edition on the front page. And she has been voted one of the 50 most influential sports figures in the world. And it seems to come with a lot of backlash. Now, I was just browsing through the Internet and somebody sent me a DM talking about Jason Whitlock was crashing out over the fact that Angel Reese was nominated as one of the 50 most influential sports figures in the world. And he said to a point where if that's the case, the WNBA is doomed. Also in that article as well of Sports Illustrated, Caitlin Clark was in there as well. Um, Jason Whitlock went on to say Fly J Johnson, the LSU star rapper. And if you're voting these women as the most influential sports figures in the world, something ain't right. Well, Jason Whitlock sometimes causes a lot of controversy. And in this point, if you go look at his podcast and listen to what he was saying in, in its entirety, you know, some of the stuff makes sense and some of the stuff. You know, I can push back on, but what Angel Reese is doing since she's been in the WNBA, even before she was in the WNBA, she's a marketing genius. Um, She knows how to market herself. You know how she was doing the LSU with the NIL deals and things like that. So she's very marketable. So now that she's been in the WNBA, before she got in the WNBA, she she signed that, um, that deal with Allen Iverson and Shaq with Reebok. Also, you know, she's part owner of her uh, a soccer team, a woman's soccer team back in the DMV area where she's from. So she's getting money that way. Now, we also saw her strike a pose with the with Reese's Pieces. She got her own Reese's Pieces line. So she's doing a lot of things off the court and on the court. So that would makes her probably influential because, you know, she has a lot of fans, a lot of following and people follow follow her. Also now, recently, she started her own podcast. So to grace the cover of Sports Illustrated, like a lot of people said, they didn't think Sports Illustrated still existed. But now she's on puff boxes nationwide. So that's another deal that she has struck. So she's doing great off the court. So when you're getting money like that and kids look up to you, that is influential. Uh, People look up to that. Um, They try to be role models to these kids. And a lot of people look up to Angel Reese. You can say what you want to say about Angel Reese. You can say what you want to say about her on a basketball court. But the fact of the matter is she's getting to the money. Um, She's marketing herself. She's striking these brand deals. And a lot of people have an issue with it. And Jason Whitlock has an issue with it. Sports Illustrated just granting her to be on the cover and naming her one of the 50 most influential sports figures in the world. Now, you know how Sports Illustrated is. They do that probably every quarter or every, you know, six years. They come out with these these rankings and stuff like that. But, you know, to throw Angel Reese in there, I mean, that's just a, you know, something that is to her what she's doing, like her grinding to get notoriety, to get eyes on her, for her to even be nominated in such something like that as being 50 most influential sports figures in the world. So let's take a look at what this article stated. Uh, Let's take a look at this. 
Angel Reese featured in Sports Illustrated's 50 Most Influential Figures sports list. Sports Illustrated recently included Chicago Skies rookie forward Angel Reese on their list of top 10 most, I mean, top 50 most influential figures in sports, a list that includes athletes, coaches, executives, and influences. Since being drafted number seven by the Chicago Sky in April, Reese has gone from the Bayou Barbie to the WNBA All-Star making a strong case for rookie of the year along the way. SI's Kristen Nielsen wrote, the 6'3 forward has already turned in a historic season. She set a league record for the most consecutive double-doubles, 15, became the first WNBA rookie to record back-to-back 20 rebound games, a feat not seen at a pro level since fellow LSU alumni Shaquille O'Neal did it in um, April 93 in his NBA rookie season. The 22-year-old SI October issue cover star has long parlayed her on-the-court success into savvy business opportunities. She recently paired up for a fitting candy partnership with Reese's, released a collection with Reebok, and has confirmed that she has a signature shoe on the way. As mentioned, Reese cultivated an incredible rookie season. She broke the league record for the most consecutive double-doubles, posting one in 15 games straight. She also overcame the league's single-season rebound record, grabbing her 405th rebound on September 1st. Unfortunately, her rookie season was cut short as she went underwent successful surgery on September 10th to repair her fractured left wrist. She announced the injury herself one day after she scored 24 points against the Los Angeles Sparks. She expected to start her rehabilitation process in the coming weeks, according to the team. Initially in the conversation for league's Rookie of the Year Award. Fever's Caitlin Clark will likely take the award home with Reese sideline for the rest of the season. However, from 34 games, Reese finished with averages of 13.6 points a game, 13.1 rebounds, 1.9 assists, 1.3 steals per game. She shot 39.1% from the field and 73.6 from the free throw line. So there you have it. That was the article that that's going to be in Sports Illustrated. Um, unfortunately, you know, this is coming with a lot of backlash, uh, with the likes of Jason Whitlock really crashing out over the fact that Angel Reese is bra- embracing the cover of Sports Illustrated for the October edition. Like Jason Whitlock has really lost it just because of the fact that Angel Reese and Fly J. Johnson are named top 50 most influential sports figures. And I think Jason Whitlock has a problem with the fact that You know, he went on and said in one statement, how do you put somebody on the cover of Sports Illustrated just for rebounding and coming to games half naked? See, I don't like Jason Whitlock's approach because of the fact early in the season before the WNBA coming into the draft, Jason Whitlock's been on record to say that Angel Reese makes it great for women's basketball, for women to be women. First, you give her credit for saying that women can be women in the WNBA. Now you want to take a dig at her and say she's showing up to these games half naked. Which one is it, Jason Whitlock? Um, I don't see how you're saying she's coming to these games half naked. Um, She is dressing. um, She's dressing appropriately. She's not showing off nothing. Just because it's not to your likings, how are you going to condemn her for the way that she dresses? Nobody condemn you for, you know, your alcohol alcoholism and sitting at the bar with all these women and things like that, which you have stated on your own. So how are you going to condemn her for just coming to the game, advertising the stuff that she wears from these brand deals that she's getting. And now you're saying she's coming to the game half naked. But at first you said that she's making it great for women in the WNBA to be women. So you guys, let me know what y'all think about the latest episode here on um, Simply Ball Dropping. Um, I love to hear your comments. Um, y'all bring them on. Um, Angel Reese was nominated 50 most influential sports figures in sports, along with Caitlin Clark as well. But it seems like a lot of backlash because Angel Reese is gracing the cover of Sports Illustrated. And that's going to wrap up another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, K-Sap. We're going to catch you on the next one. 
deuces. And remember, on your way out the door, before you put your shoes on, do me a favor. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Turn your post notifications on so you know every time Simply Ball drop and drops another hot banger. And we're out of here. Thanks for listening to the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share on all major platforms. That's all, folks.